Hello everyone, today I wanted to do my current favourites so if you want to see what I've been liking throughout these months that I haven't been doing like any videos then just keep watching so first off I just wanted to like let you guys know that my voice is kind of gone yeah perfect timing to like want to record a video I know <laughs> Just before we also get into my favourites, I also wanted you guys to know I did a look on this makeup look minus the liquid eyeliner. I added the liquid eyeliner later on because I just felt like I wasn't me without it. I don't know, I just felt weird. So yeah, if you want to see how I got the eye look minus the eyeliner, the liquid eyeliner, then a video will be coming up or it would already be up. So yeah, I'll just link it, link it in the description box or like I'll let you guys know in the description box if it's out or not. If it's not, then just like wait a little bit for it and I will upload it. So yeah, my first favourite is my MAC Studio Fix Foundation in NC15. I love this foundation. I love mixing it with other foundations. I love using it on its own. I usually mix this with a BB cream or a CC cream just to like get it kind of lighten the coverage a little bit but if I do want to use this on its own I can it's like fabulous then I want to mention a concealer I've been loving it's the LA girl pro conceal when I first got this I got it in the shade classic ivory or ivory I'm not really sure I don't think it was ivory classic ivory or natural and I didn't like it because it was like too orange light ivory has a little bit of orange tint to it but I like it because it kind of like counteracts the dark circles underneath the eyes and porcelain is like my shade of concealer and I really love it I've also been loving another concealer which is the elf under eye conceal and highlight duo I just use this side but I love it because it just gives you that illuminated look underneath your eyes and Surprisingly, this is like more lighter than my skin color. So yeah, you can also use this side just to like illuminate around your cheekbones or upper cheekbones. I've been loving my Mac Mineralize Skin Finish Natural Powder in Light. I love this for like setting all my makeup, and yeah. I've been loving it. This is like my favorite face powder then I've also been loving where is it I've been loving the Becca Jaclyn Hill palettes the champagne face palette I think I love this I thought this wouldn't kind of like suit my skin tone because I do kind of like have a light skin tone but I love it I don't really use Prosecco pop but I love champagne pop and for blushes I love all of them like if you have light skin you could use it but just like pat your brush onto it and then just put on your face because if you do swirl it around even a little bit like it's gonna be really really intense so yeah then for a prim primer I've been loving the mineral fusion smoothing primer I used this before I apply the paint pot by MAC because the paint pot can be kind of like drying at times so I do love using this underneath it so yeah the paint pot is also my favorite there we go and this one's in painterly so I love that then I should have mentioned this before my foundational or after it but this is the Too Faced Hangover X RX primer wait hold on Hangover X yeah, Hangover X Primer. I love this. It smells like coconut. I love it. It kind of gives you that glow, but not really like a glow, like a healthy skin look. Just like underneath your foundation. It likes moisture it like moisturizes and like hydrates your skin. So yeah, I love it. Then for mascara, I've been loving the CoverGirl Super Sizer. Like, at first when I used it, I didn't really like it, but now I like it. You just gotta kind of, like, 
like know how to use it because sometimes I do stuff up with this and then it makes my eyelashes look really bad but I think since it's been drying a little bit I love it this one's not the extensions one this is just the normal super sizer I've been also liking the Bobby Brown Bobby Brown under eye corrector in light bisque I love using this before I apply any concealer you can see like how much I've used I love it so yeah then I've also been loving this Sephora R21 in ingenuous yes I just don't like the way it doesn't write ingenuous anyway it's a color like that it's really gorgeous I've been loving these type of colors lately the color I have on my lip right now is the Kylie liquid lipstick in exposed and the lip liner together it is a nice color the price is just ridiculous for this but I do like it then I've also been loving the Maybelline color drama when you see these you're gonna be like this girl likes similar colors they're different that one's more pink that's more brown tone and I've also been liking Yash I'll show you all of these and Honey Love this is embarrassing because all of these colors look alike okay the top is Sephora in Ingenuous R21 the one on the bottom is the Maybelline color drama in 63 no 630 nude perfection the one underneath that is Mac Yash that one and then that's Mac Honey Love Honey Love kind of looks like ingenuous but yeah I do love those lip colors uh, oh my god oh my god oh my god I can't believe I didn't mention this I found my favorite ever lip liner this looks exactly like my own lip color so I love it it's that shade over here I love it. I love lighting my lips with this I didn't use this today but I've been using it every single day I love it this one's Too Faced perfect lips in perfect nude and I love it for bronzer I've been loving the butter bronzer by physicians formula I didn't use that today I use a Too Faced one I love this so yeah I've been using this every single day but today I use this I kind of like it like I gotta use it more and like try the matte side try the shimmery side try it together but yeah for now I've been thinking like it's alright but yeah this is my favorite so yeah that's the end of my video I hope you all enjoyed like comment and subscribe if you did yeah, it'll mean so much to me. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, everyone.